What you're listening to now is recorded with a soundfield microphone. This microphone has four closely spaced capsules which capture sounds in all the directions to create three-dimensional sound field. This is Oslo, Norway, and if you're wearing your headphones, you're listening to 3D sound. Hi, I'm Mariam, composer and sound artist. In this and the following tutorials, I'm going to talk about 3D sound. 3D sound is often referred to as spatial sound, surround sound, multi-channel sound, 360 sound or immersive sound. But the term 3D sound is what we hear the most frequently nowadays, although there are differences between all these formats. 3D sound is widely used in video games and movies and has a significant role in experimental electronic music. In order to understand how we perceive it, let's have a look at the basics of spatial hearing. The sound we hear in our everyday life is always spatial, and spatiality is an integral part of it. The sound scene consists of sounds coming from all the directions around us. Sound localization is an ability to determine the direction and the distance of a sound source. It's a natural skill based on an experience that starts at the beginning of our lives. To describe sound's position in space, we can use a horizontal angle, the azimuth, vertical angle, the elevation, and the distance. The azimuth of sound is determined by the two primary cues, interaural time difference, ITD, and interaural level difference, ILD. Imagine that the sound source is to the left of your head. The right ear is further from the source than the left ear, so the sound will arrive there after it arrives at the left ear. The right ear is also in the acoustic shadow of the head, so the sound's amplitude level will be less there than at the left ear. If the source is located precisely in front or behind the head, there is no time or level difference between the two ears. Thus, distinguishing between the two locations is challenging unless you move your head around. Even the slightest head movement will help you to localize the sound in these positions. ITD and ILD do not specify the elevation of sound. The ability to localize a sound in a vertical plane is based on the head-related transfer function, HRTF. The head and ears diffract and reflect sound in a unique way on its path to the eardrums. The HRTF is a digital model of that physical filtering process. HRTFs are unique to every individual, as they depend on physical anatomy, torso, head and outer ear shape. The distance of a sound source is recognized by these three cues, the ratio of direct and reflected sound, loudness and sound spectrum. There are two types of sounds arriving at our ears, direct sound, straight from the sound source, and reflected sound that has bounced back from surrounding surface before arrival. The ratio of direct and reflected sounds gives us an idea about distance of the sound source. Sound sources that are closer to us are louder than the ones on the distance when they are of the same amplitude at the source. High frequencies are damped by the air faster than low frequencies. Therefore, a distant sound source feels more muffled than a close one because the high frequencies are attenuated. Now that we understand how we perceive 3D sound in the real world, in the next tutorial we will focus on how to capture and translate that sound into the virtual world. But before we do that, let's have a look at how we arrived at 3D sound format. The very first audio recording format was monophonic. That is sound emanating from one position, 
Mono is still in use nowadays. For example, in clubs and concert venues, to ensure a more uniform listening experience across a given space. Or in Bluetooth loudspeakers and digital personal assistants, such as Alexa. Because of that reason, you will often see mix and mastering engineers checking their sessions in the mono loudspeaker to get an understanding of what will their listener experience. When listening to mono, we hear the same one-channel signal coming from either one loudspeaker, the left and right loudspeakers, or headphone earbuds. Mono sound is considered to be centered, and you can check that in this video example. Although the stereo format was invented in the 1930s, around 30 years passed until it became a standard. In the stereo recordings, we have two different channels coming from the corresponding loudspeakers. Here two spaces is created where we can play sounds using panning between left and right loudspeakers. We can also create depth using volume, low-pass filter, and time-based FX processors, such as reverb. Here is the same video example with the stereo sound. Pretty sound is a term that relates to all immersive formats of playback that exist in azimuth, elevation and distance planes. There are several surround sound formats which give us a three-dimensional sense of depth, and also several techniques for 3D sound reproduction. With nowadays technology, we can capture the sound in 3D format by using binaural or soundfield microphones. We can also render regular mono and stereo recordings in this format. Listening environment for 3D sound is a studio with 8, 16, 24 or higher number of loudspeaker arrays, or headphones. We are going to have a look at the studios with various loudspeaker setups in the next tutorial. And as a last listening example, here is the same video recording with 3D sound. Well, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.